When rates go down, are you looking to make a move into either upsize or even downsize when rates go down? You know, I have a lot of clients right now that would like to make a move. They have a two or three percent interest rate on their current property, and right now rates are just under seven percent. And so it, it's a it's a large leap to make that next move to buy your next property. And so a lot of my clients and past clients and friends and family are just waiting on the sidelines. And I think that's a very common thing right now, uh, just given just how different the rates are between what you bought a couple years ago and then what it is today. So have you considered buying another property and upsizing again or downsizing when their rates come down a little bit. If that's you, one thing uh, that, that I would suggest, if you've considered real estate investing or, or are curious about that or would like to get into that one day, uh, one very easy way to get into real estate is your current primary home. Uh, if you are able to keep that and turn that into a rental, rent that property out and then go buy another property, a lot of times that can be a, a lot easier to get into real estate investing because um, most of the time, if you have a 3% interest rate between market rents today in 2024 versus maybe when you bought or refinanced your, your home in 2019 or 2020, 2021, or even 2022, that rate's so far down that your monthly payment, even with taxes and insurance and all the holding costs, is gonna be far less uh, of a payment than what the uh, rent is gonna be. So you're gonna have some cash flow, uh, uh, some net cash flow every single month, most likely. Not every single situation is like that. And so with that, uh, that cash flow, uh, number one, can help you be able to make that transition into that next property and have a little bit of a higher interest rate. You know, I think most people are thinking that rates in the next couple of years aren't going to be 3%. I know that we all, all hope that, but I think the reality of that is uh, is very unlikely. But let's just say they're 5 or 6%. Uh, you know, that potential cash flow, uh, that surplus every single month can help offset that transition in going into a bigger or even a smaller property, just depending on what you're looking to do. So if you don't currently have a rental and you've considered... Uh, real estate investing and you have a very low rate on your current primary home, I would recommend keep that, uh, rent it, and then go buy, uh, go buy another property. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to me.